is my first video. My name is Innie and I want to show you guys my isolation journey. This is only one of the series that I'll be making under the title of Innie, but because that's my ne name, but this is my first ever video. So please excuse me if I do anything wrong. I, I'm here taking a walk with my two dogs and my sister, the camera lady. Um, I wanted to show you guys what it was like from a autistic person's um, view. Because I am autistic and I'm not afraid to say it. So it's the first day of my isolation. So school's off. Um, tomorrow's Mother's Day. It's going to be weird having a Mother's Day when we're in isolation. But I'm, I think it will, guys, don't worry because I don't think it will, the um, autism, not the autism, autism mm -hmm. lasts forever. Um, I don't think the COVID-19, which is another way for saying coronavirus, will last for too long. My assumption is it will last somewhere from two months to four months if we're all careful and don't socialise too well. For instance, on my way, there's going there in front of me, there are two people who um, I'm going to try and stay two metres away from without saying it basically but as I am also anxious I have anxiety this is going to be hard um, not really think of it. so I have two dogs obviously doing very well but this YouTube video is a big step They're very important to me, important, not important, important to me because they make me feel like no one's judging. But we think that we have one of the only trans species in the world. It's not a real thing, guys, so don't go searching it up. So, you know how, it's, you, know how you get transgender? Well, trans species, in my opinion, is where a, a different species acts like a cat or a duck. Well, so let's say it's a dog. Very unlikely for those things, but we have a cat here. Basically, she jumps on our laps at home, and she also she catches and eats mice, and she also catches her food with her paws instead of her mouth, like a normal dog. Um, and she likes running off by herself, but. We all love her anyway. Luna, come! Come on! And obviously she does have some act like a dog, but I like saying that she's a trans species. Right. 
locked so I can't really play with them online. Um, because anybody in primary school shouldn't really have Roblox. It's just very difficult. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really hard for me not to play or see my friends in real life. It's kind of my, and this is kind of my way of contacting everyone. Even people I don't know, if I get lucky. This video is for anyone, really. Um, but it's also for autistics to realise that they don't have to hide who they really are. And that they can say it and shout it out loud. I'm an autistic and I'm not scared to say it. Um, you guys probably think that I'm crazy or that I'm stupid or weird because I'm an autistic and that I'm weird to say it like it's a good thing but my experience in being an autistic is that whoever you are you need to be proud of it even if some people think that you're wrong that's for everyone not just autistics so people who are anxious or people who have any knock knees or flat foot or anything that might affect your day-to-day -day life or even just affect affect you occasionally you shouldn't be scared to announce it or prove it i'm quite happy about school being cancelled but quite sad at the same time as i should have been doing loads of things at school like i should have been going on a trip to the isle of wight and i'm kind of sad that we're not doing that anymore but uh, because we were meant to be doing it next week and but as tomorrow's mother's day and in isolation you can basically do what you like but you do have to make sure you keep on top of your work even as an autistic i know that it's important to make sure you stay well well educated it's important to be well educated so then when you go to your next year or next school depending on which year you're in or even when you leave school you will be ready for the next step you'll be keen to do different things and you won't be called anything any rude names um according to your intelligence i have been bullied and that's the sad thing but you need to kind of i know this is easier said than done i mean i don't do this normally but it's easier to say it than it is to do it but you need to kind of ignore them because just remember nothing that they say is true just uh they're just jealous of you because otherwise they wouldn't say it some the only reason they're saying it is either because they're jealous of you or something wrong is going on in their own life